All right, we're getting close. Race for the Cure, just nine days away. It's the biggest fundraiser of the year for Susan G. Komen, L.A. County. So important. Uh, this year, the focus is survivors and thrivers, people living with metastatic cancer. Dr. Josh Neiman is here along with our cancer survivor, Sharon Schlesinger. Welcome, both of you. You're Thank also you. on the race committee. I know oh, you're a yes. big part of what goes on out at Dodger Stadium. It's dear to my heart. I call myself a career volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's talk about this year's race because we talk about every year about pink and the focus is on pink. But this year, for the first time, we're talking pink and purple. And the purple is for the people who are living with and uh, living through metastatic breast cancer. It, through and with it and uh, around it, um, we wanted to bring the metastatic patients out. They they don't have a particular fondness for pink, mm -hmm. so we made them purple shirts. And uh, the whole theme behind what Coleman is doing now is that we really go beyond pink. Uh, we're more than pink, mm -hmm. and so we have created a place for metastatic patients to come to learn, to be able to mingle with other patients. Um, and we also have an art display of art by metastatic patients. Now, it's not all oil paintings or mm -hmm. anything like that. It could be a, a, a painted rock. It could be a potholder they We're crochet. About journals. And it's just about doing something to kind of help you cope with what is uh, a very devastating diagnosis but they kind of learn how to cope and they learn how to live and they learn how to thrive. And that's why the shirt says Thriver. And um, when, when you say devastating diagnosis, doctor, we know that uh, for three out of approximately every 10 breast right. cancer patients, the cancer returns, but this right. time it spreads to other organs. Right. And that is something that is very difficult for patients to hear, to get right. that diagnosis, but you're making great strides and mm -hmm. you're gonna be talking about that. Right, so, you know, Sharon and I, we came up with a plan we called the Metastatic Breast Cancer Pavilion. Mm -hmm. And doctors and researchers like myself uh, who do research at, on metastasis, which is the, the, the disease that we really, it's the scary part of the disease that right. we really don't talk about. Mm -hmm. And we bring it to the for forefront of, 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 of to the community. And, and uh, we really want to show and educate the community about the cutting edge research that we're doing in LA mm -hmm. um, on metastasis, which unfortunately we have about 100,000 patients who are living with it. Um, 200,000 patients get diagnosed annually with breast cancer, but it really is not the primary cancer in the breast that is the malice. Right. It is the spread that is really what we are really after and hoping to slow down uh, and find a cure for. So on race day, you'll be there. Yes. You'll, be, you'll be talking to these metastatic yes. patients, telling about the hope that exists, and, and much of it comes through funding from Susan G. Komen and is which, being done right here in LA. Which I was, you know, very fortunate to be a recipient of. Um, I got a career development award from them, um, working, you know, as a neuroscientist. And you might say, well, what is a neuroscientist, someone who works on the brain, really doing talking about breast cancer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's the fact that patients, unfortunately, that when the tumor cell leaves and goes through the pipeline of the body and enters one of the other organs, really, you need that specialty to really understand uh, how to deal with the disease at that point. And Sharon, when we talk about metastatic, we talk about the chance for hope, and that's what we're getting from the doctor and the research here, and part of that will be on display on race day. Abs absolutely. Um, this year, Coleman has awarded 41% of their funding, their research funding, to the study of metastatic disease. Uh, this is the most that uh, I think they've ever, ever devoted. And it signals the uh, focus mm -hmm. that is on what has previously been sort of an under-supported, under-served part of the community. Um, we're trying to bring the survivor and the metaviver together so that with one voice they can make a much lou louder sound. Yeah, we can see all that happen on race day. As yes. we said, we're just about nine days away. All right, it is Susan G. Komen, Race for the Cure. It is coming up March 10th at Dodger Stadium. You can go out there that Saturday morning and sign up or we'd love to see on race day as part of our team. Just join us, go online and look for our team CBS LA.
team. More information about the race for the cure and Susan G. Komen, it's on our website, kcal9.com. Click as seen on TV. Dr. Sharon, thanks for being here. Thanks, thank, you. thank you. Thank you.